was needed, and the dustless blaster got the job. We taped off the water line and plugged all the holes. Even though the dustless blaster produces no dust, we put up simple containment to prevent the water vapor from going into the marina office, which was right downwind. We test blasted a small area of the hull to ensure that it was opening blisters to the satisfaction of the coating specialist and the yacht owner. After their approval, we're ready to rock and roll. The dustless blaster is able to remove the anti-fouling paint very quickly, and by blasting on the blistered areas for a little longer, we're able to open the blisters right up so they can be repaired properly. Traditional blasting would be churning out a huge engulfing cloud of dust and paint particles. Since all of the dust is trapped in water and grounded, neighboring boats are unaffected by this process. For this job, we're using medium recycled bottle glass at 135 PSI. Normally, for simply removing anti-fouling paint without damaging the gel coat, we would recommend blasting at about 70 PSI. But in this case, we needed to open blisters in the gel coat so that the blisters can be repaired. With the dustless blaster, you have full control over media flow and pressure. The paint comes off very quickly, but by dwelling on the blistered areas for a little longer, the operator is able to open the gel coat blisters. If you look closely, you can actually see the blisters opening up in the gel coat. Here you can see multiple clusters of blisters that we've exposed. Notice that the ground doesn't get flooded even after a full day of blasting, since most of the water vaporizes. Outside the simple curtain, there is no trace of dust. Since the media is saturated with water, it gets grounded. After a rinse, this boat is ready to be re-gel coated and repainted. It took only 12 hours to blast the entire hull and the customer paid a lot of money to have this done. Because of the low cost of the media, it was a very high profit job.